hello collective welcome to my platform thank you for watching as always so what we have out here is a queen of cups showing up in a reversal position and this is alarming the queen of cups in a reversal position is someone that is extremely shallow emotionless um but they will fix their emotions to get what it is that they want from other people usually it's finances this is like a femme fatale um with the queen of cups in a reversal position that is a femme fatale basically a jesse bell right a gold digger things like that this is what you're looking at the fact that the eight of swords is out here the knight of swords the ten of swords and the five of swords is out here this is an empty vessel walking about the face of earth if you are the masculine that is unfortunate enough to come in connection with this woman god bless your soul and god bless your heart because honey you are not getting a god dang thing out of this woman as empty as this cup is that's how empty this woman's soul and heart are okay Something has been revealed about this woman, all of the trickery she was doing behind the scenes, the truth has been revealed. This woman is trapped in something that she did. She may have slandered someone, stole from someone, uh, misrepresented someone. She did something with a group of people to bring, prevent some type of union from coming together, may have stolen some finances and things like that in collaboration with a group of people. Let's go ahead and get into it. So the truth has been revealed. This woman is stuck in a, a situation. Some of you, this queen of cups in the reversal position could be going to jail for something that she did. They went through quite a lot. I'm getting like fake profiles being created, uh, lies being told on someone, just a lot of malicious things. The fact that I'm seeing the emperor, the high priestess out here in the reversal position means that this is someone that is into dark magic, dark work. This is someone that does spell work behind the scenes, right? This is someone that thinks of herself as like a high priestess in the upright, but she's not. This is someone that does not know any magic, but... She goes to other high priestesses that are willing to indulge in dark magic to do these types of things that she's interested in, block other people's forward movements, steal from other people spiritually, and, and things like that. So this is what you're looking at. Oh, Lord, this is a heavy energy. I really don't even want to be in this energy because it is so negative. <laughs> I'm going to have to laugh a lot through this reading to keep my positive energy about myself. I just don't like negativity. It's just too much. Uh, this is someone that is extremely draining, like they drain people of positive energy because they reside naturally in a negative state of being. This person feels entitled to, to some type of something with a masculine. This is someone that just feels entitled overall in life. They don't care about having to, you know, do the right things as long as they get what it is that they want out of you. That's all that matters. This is someone that likes to live the good life. They're into like the luxury, luxury, luxury items and things like that. This is someone extremely superficial. So they will put on a show, adopt other people, personalities, pretend to be someone in the upright so that they can connect with you just to steal from you, just to manipulate you, just to leech off of you and things like that. This is someone that is extremely financially focused, okay? Oh my gosh. This is someone that thinks of herself as someone who is like the head of a cult, the head of a coven, the head of an organization, but she does not have any spiritual gifts. This is someone showing up in the reversal position. This means that she does not have any type of deep knowledge within herself that is coming from source. This woman is under some type of illusion that she has a deep connection with source. Source is not a partner in crime with you ma'am source is distant as a matter of fact this woman's ancestors are not even with her this is how bad of a state of being this person is in her ancestors have distanced themselves from her she has no connection to source this is someone that has a lot of endings coming their way she's losing a lot of finances there are some type of uh, a new beginning she was expecting some type of financial payout that she was expecting is not coming in it's not coming in. It's not happening because the truth has been revealed. This woman was expecting to receive some type of financial payout either from an institution or from a masculine energy, but the truth has been revealed about her character, so she's not receiving that at all. It's a no-go. <laughs> Lord Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to laugh. Oh, Lord have mercy. This woman's energy is disgusting. It is so disgusting. So the financial offer is not coming in this new beginning, this promise, whatever she was expecting, this proposal, it is not coming in. She's not having a new, a brand new passionate beginning. This is why she was wanting this offer to come in because she thought she was going to be living a brand new life, living confidently, 
but it's not happening. It is not happening. Uh, something has been blocked from her because she is not an honest person. This is someone extremely devious. This is someone that will go through the to the extent of having other people collaborate with them. She will even pay people to lie for her. So if she sees that a masculine that she's interested in is really interested in another female, she will come up with like a smear campaign, um, pay other people to lie her friends you know karmics always come in two to threes uh they come in groups they're never alone because they need to be in a group to feel validated and to feel powerful us light workers honey we are solo we're rebellious we move on our own we don't need anyone but the source and our uh, lineage backing us up in the spirit realm but in the physical honey we don't have any problems with moving alone okay that should show you who has the who has more power or who has the real power but this is someone that will go to the extent to create a snare campaign, create a fake profile, like social media pretending to be you, whoever you are, divine feminine. They will create a fake profile to communicate with a masculine pretending to be you. They will even create like fake text messages and things like that to make it seem like it's really you communicating with this masculine. This is someone that will go to the above and beyond. There is no limit to how far this woman will go to paint a picture to make something look like what it is not. There is some masculine in here and it could be this king of wands who is a business owner and things like that, that is finding the truth out about this woman and he could have attached himself to this woman. I don't know if you had some type of interaction, ex explicit in interaction with this woman and you are regretting it. This is someone that is in her lower vibrational state. This is someone that's a drunk. This is, a, some, this is someone that lives a double life. She's a scammer. So this person can work a nine to five, but outside of that nine to five, she's also doing other illegal activities to get finances. And this has to do with fortune documents, stealing finances, uh, laund money laundering and things like that. This woman is in a lot of illegal activities. This is someone that pretends to be ratchet, righteous. This is someone that pretends to be religious, but she's not. This is someone that is so far away from God so far away from God, it's actually heartbreaking, okay? It's really heartbreaking how far away this woman is from God. This woman is experiencing an ending, and this is an ending that she was planning for another energy. You, the divine feminine that's watching this, or you, the divine masculine that's watching this, this woman was planning an ending for someone, but it's happening to her because this is how it was fitted to be. This was someone that was under some type of illusion that she was powerful. She could steal from you, the divine person, and, you know, get your abundance and things like that. I don't know how dark workers' minds work. People that reside in negative energy, I don't know how their minds work. They have this belief that they can do magic and steal other people's abundance. It does not work that way. They think that like they can steal other people's spiritual gifts and things like that. I'm sorry, if you're not from my lineage, you can't have a goddamn thing from me. Not my spiritual gifts, not my spiritual blessings, my abilities, none of that. And believe it or not, to you all that are watching these videos, I've actually had a feminine energy try to do this. And I worked with her. I used to go to work every day knowing what she was doing, but I just kept my mouth shut because we all have free will and I'm at that point in my ascension where I know how the story is going to end. So I'm going to let you seal your own fit. But I, I guarantee you, I went to work every day knowing what this woman was doing. I still smiled with her. I still greeted her, was still polite to her. This woman went above and beyond creating scenarios and things like that with other people. One day I would go to work, people would be talking to me all nice, and then she would go and interfere with those relationships because she didn't want people being nice to me. She hated the fact that people liked me naturally. Um, you know, she and I were the complete opposite. And because I knew she was already broken, so I never really went out of my way to be mean or malicious to her. Never really said anything to her about what she was doing, but I knew what she was doing. I knew what she was doing, okay? Anyway, this woman, whoever the divine feminine is that she's going up against, this is like a human going up against ISIS. <laughs> what can you do to ISIS? Nothing. This divine energy that she was going up against is from an ancient bloodline. 
the masculine that she was pulling all of these tricks for so that he would pick her he's from an engine bloodline as well this is like some uh with these two people the feminine and the masculine the divine energies right one is from egypt one is from atlantis coming together right so these are like soul twins that have been incarnating together for a long time but this masculine has always had a problem with jesse bells and things like that and this is someone that has been struggling with this same karma for multiple lifetimes this very energy has been blocking him in every lifetime and she's doing it again in this lifetime I don't know what's going to happen if he cannot overcome this karma and learn from this karma or break this karma, but that is his business to figure out. Um, but this is this is this woman, basically. Okay. This woman has some type of false confidence about herself. This is not someone that's confident. This is someone that is extremely insecure. This is someone that likes to see other people hurt. And this is because you know the statement hurt people hurt people this is what it is this woman is hurting because people in her life let her down okay this is someone that comes from a family that does magic some of them don't even know it but they do magic this woman got like a brother involved in something or a family member a group of friends she may have even contacted members of this masculine's family to gang up with her to go up against this other divine uh, energy, the divine feminine, to block the forward movement. I wouldn't be surprised if this woman even went and contacted people in the background of this divine feminine energy to get them to collaborate with her, tarnish this woman's character. I'm hearing something about identity. So this woman could have done something with this woman's identity, this divine energy's ident identity. This is like someone doing an illegal search on you but nothing pops up. So maybe her intention was, well, I'm gonna do a background check on her and I guarantee you I'm gonna find something on her and I'm gonna show him that she's not who he thinks she is. She goes and do the illegal background check, finds nothing, becomes desperate, starts creating scenarios and things like that, starts telling lies. It says she didn't find what she was looking for, so she got desperate, started creating false documents and things like that to prove to this masculine that this divine energy was not divine. And why did she do all of this? Finances, a lifestyle, a specific lifestyle. There is someone in here working with this woman that pretends to be angelic. This is that one of those people that's like really soft spoken. You talk to them, oh my gosh, I'm so glad to see you're doing okay. Oh my gosh. Like someone you just know is forced. It's not natural. All of these people were living under some type of illusion. This woman paid a lot of people to collaborate with her. We had the three of pentacles out here. She paid a lot of people to collaborate with her. So this masculine is surrounded by a group of karmics. These are possibly people some of you masculines already know. You've been around them for many, many years. So these are people you are familiar with that, or, that were working against you, but you were loyal to them. Make it make sense. You're loyal to people that are not loyal to you. This is why I preach against group thinking. I will not be part of a group. I don't care about quotes. I, don't, I have never had the need to feel like belonging in nothing when it comes to people. I don't want to be part of an organization. I don't want to be part of a cult. I don't care if you call me your friend. I am self-minded extremely. And that is just how I like it. Because when you are not self-minded, that is how things like this happen. Cults come into being. People can easily manipulate you. Okay, they come in. They wind you, mold you, and then trap you. I'm going to do a reading on how coaches uh, um, recruit people, how they end up manipulating people to join them. And sometimes people don't even know they're being recruited. I'm going to do a reading on that. So come to my platform, come back and make sure you watch so you can uh, kind of understand how coaches work when they are recruiting people, what they would do. But I would absolutely not be part of that. I don't like people telling me what to do. 
I don't like people. Uh, uh, I, I don't even care about your compliments. You don't have to compliment me. I don't need it. I don't need your validation. When you meet me, you can you will think that I'm someone insecure, someone unsure of myself, and then you f around and find out, and I give you a piece of my mind, and then you go about saying, "Oh, she's disrespectful. She's so rude." And no, I'm not. You knew what you was doing. If you were a kid, then yes, I would dismiss it. But you're an adult. Okay? So this is why we need to have a mind of our own. This woman is going to prison. Going to jail. There's something she's stuck in that she cannot get out of. She can't, you know, manipulate her, manipulate her way out of this anymore. An institution is behind this woman. They were supporting her. This is like a group of people getting together. Pretending. Just pretending that things are not what they seem. This is like people that come to work every day, they've created a, a narrative and they're sticking to the narrative even though their lives are upside down, they're sticking to the narrative. They gotta keep up their story, keep up the facade. That's what this is and they're all experiencing endings. There's an institution that's experiencing an ending. It's not just this woman, it's an institution, it's a group of people. Everyone that had a hand in this is experiencing an ending as it was intended to happen. Like dark workers have some type of illusion that karma is not real. Karma is very much real. This is the reason why we keep incarnating because of karma. So I don't know why these types of people think that they can do whatever they want and then they can just do a protection spell and you know, Abracadabra, it's gonna disappear. No, ma'am. No, no, sir. That's not how it works. You have to. Every single time you violate a spiritual law, you accumulate karma and you have to pay that karma back. You have to pay it back. There is no spell you can do that's going to protect you from receiving your karma. Your karma may not happen today, but it's going to happen at some point when you least expect it. Like, let's say, for example, you steal money and you're living it good. The universe is going to let you enjoy some of that money, money and let you get comfortable living your good life and things like that. Bam, you have cancer. Bam, you have some type of immuno disease that you cannot cure. Bam, your favorite person in your family passes away. Money can't fix that. And then sometimes you get old, all your family have left you, they're not coming to take care of you. So you're alone, old, miserable. A lot of the times in a nursing home where you're not even being taken care of, that's karma. Karma never misses. She never forgets. Sister Mayat knows everybody's addresses, even the nomads, as I always say. She knows where everybody is at all times and she will sit back and let you carry your plans out until she's ready for you until it's time so let's get back to our reading this woman was confident that she could use spiritual work dark work to block a union from coming together to mess with someone's confidence there was some type of message that someone did not send or was interfered with. There's something about an abundance. Something was stolen, money, an inheritance was supposed to be given to someone, but it was blocked. Or this is why this woman did all of this for money. This group of people, they were expecting some type of financial payout, but they're not receiving it. They are not receiving it and they will not. The only thing these people are receiving is karma. Endings. Going to jail, losing your job, getting divorces, loved ones passing away, sicknesses and things like that, repossessions, all the, the things they were intending for this divine feminine or this divine masculine. They're all experiencing it. This woman thought she was going to get away with what she was doing. These people thought they got away with it. This is like uh, uh, someone losing a battle. So she gets happy because she won the battle. 
but not realizing that she lost the war. Sometimes divine energies, you have to forfeit some battles so you can win the war. This King of Wands is heartbroken about collaborating with a King of Swords to block somebody's investment, to block someone's union. He didn't know he was blocking himself. That's why this lover car, lover's car is under him. He thought he was hooking up with the, the real deal. It was not the real deal, and he's finding it out the hard way. Now he's heartbroken. He may even be watching you from a distance, maybe wanting to meet with you. There are other male figures in here that were working with this woman to cause an illusion. And this was all to block a union, to interfere with someone's choice. This man fell in love with you at first sight. You two have a spiritual bond, a spiritual connection, because you two have, you two are either soul twins or you've incarnated together for many lifetimes, so you have a very strong bond together. This man recognized you when he met you. He didn't know why, but he just knew that he knew you. You seemed familiar to him. And you very well could have felt that he felt he seemed familiar as well. But these people were not having it. And they did this for money, greed, jealousy, hatred, insecurities, selfishness, animosity, because these people are not healed. This masculine was out here lusting. He didn't know that there was magic being done on him. And he was lusting after this woman. If you are this masculine, this king of wands, I want you to remember when you first met this Queen of Cups, you were not attracted to her. But something happened, all of a sudden you were attracted to this woman. You may have ate something they gave you. You may have went out on a date with this woman or something. There was something that you received from this woman. And all of a sudden you were in love. You were lusting after her. That's because it was not natural. It was not natural. Love spells are extremely agitating. I've had masculines do love spells on me and it's so agitating. Because, sir, I can see you. Like, I can see the person you went to to do the love spell. I can see you chanting your nonsense. You're getting on my dang nerves. I will not be falling in love with you. I will not be sleeping with you. I don't sleep around with just anyone. Because, honey, my energy. No, thank you. So, there was a spell done on him to lust after this woman. And it was done repeatedly. She was doing it faithfully. But this love spell has broken. That's why. That's one of the reasons why this high priestess is out here in the reversal position. The love spell has broken. The truth is being revealed. This masculine is realizing he's not attracted to this woman. There's nothing to be attracted to her about. She's soulless. This is an empty vessel walking about the face of earth, taking advantage of people. These are people that tick, 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 but they never gave. They have nothing to give, so how can they give? This is someone that may have said this uh, uh, high, this uh, uh, um, divine energy was loose. She may have even said that this woman was married, which was not true. There's a married couple in here that was paid to lie. And they accepted the money. These two could be getting a divorce now, or this is what's in the future. It is ridiculous. These people were stalking this woman on social media, possibly, but they were watching her in some way. Social media, cameras, phone hacking, computer hacking, uh, uh, remote viewing. They were watching this woman going on about her life, not even bothering with them, but they were watching because this is how invested they were. This is how 
uh, 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 obsessed they are with this woman. This is like someone pretending to be uh, uh, gifted, but then they come across the real person that's gifted. And then they become obsessed. They're hooked. I got to be like her. I'm better than her. I know more than she does. I'm the real empress. Empresses don't even talk like that. An empress would never go out of their way to pre to prove themselves to be something. We already know who we are. We don't need your validation, so we're not going to seek it from you. All of this, this lusting that this masculine has been having for her is all coming to an end. He's walking away. He's putting an end to this chapter. This person may be seeking healing now. This person is moving away. This person may be traveling to get away from these people. Whatever it is he's doing, he wants nothing to do with them. This is someone that's heartbroken because these are people he trusted. For some of you masculines, this was your ex you went back to. Why would you go back to an ex? You're supposed to be forward moving in life. Always forward moving. Never go backwards. I don't care how good your ex has become, how huge they are, if they become a millionaire, billionaire, whatever. You never go backwards in life. Always be forward moving. But you made a mistake, sir. You connected yourself with either your ex or a toxic woman that painted a really beautiful picture for you. You had the rose colored glasses on and you could not see straight. You thought you were in a fantasy. It was a fantasy with a heavy illusion to it and the illusion has broken for you. You may be losing some finances due to this mess because these people have been stealing from you in some way. You're going through all of this because of an ascension that was necessary on your part because you've been struggling with this woman for multiple lifetimes. This woman has been blocking your forward movement for multiple lifetimes. She comes in every lifetime. You fall over heels for her because of the magic she's doing. You're all lustful for her. You end up losing connection with your divine feminine. You two break up and then, you know, the divine feminine ends up going up to marry someone else. Have a happily ever after ending with someone else and then you are left heartbroken, destroyed, broke, and things like that. This is what you've been going through for many lifetimes and you're not aware. This is your karma. In this lifetime, this is possibly your last opportunity to get over this toxic city, this Jizzy Bell, this gold digger, or you're going to be stuck in a life cycle where you're incarnating and going through the same thing with this woman. Back and forth, back and forth. Incarnate, die, come back. Incarnate, die, come back. Incarnate, die, come back. And you're going to keep repeating this cycle with her. Your soul is tired. Your soul is exhausted. This is why a lot of people don't understand why they are exhausted. And it's not a physical exhaustion. It's a spiritual one. Because you're repeating the same cycle. The same karma over and over and over and over. And you're not learning the lesson. That's why that is. You're putting an end to all of this. You may be wanting to have closure with someone. You need to take the time to heal. These people are fighting amongst themselves. Someone is pissed off. This woman is pissed off. Because this is someone that thinks she's the goat. The goat of what, honey? The goat of toxicity? Emptiness? Because you don't have anything to offer anyone. All you do is tick. So what are you the goat of? You lead people to the slaughterhouse. The people that work with you, all you did was help them accumulate karma. That's all they did. Acquire curses for their lineages because they didn't know what they were interfering with. These two are two ancient souls that have been incarnating. And you two interfere with that. This is why you're having this experience. And you're all trying to walk around like you're still okay, but you're not. <laughs> you're still trying to pretend to be okay, but you're not.
you all are not okay. And people know that. You are experiencing endings behind the scenes. Someone is about to be homeless here. Someone someone is going to prison because there have been some documents found, man, that you were hiding, but they were found. You may not be aware, but you're going to jail. You're trapped in whatever it is you are creating for this woman. You may have even paid someone to come and do something to this other woman. And that has been found out. People are not accepting your offers anymore. It's too late now. It's too late. You're all fighting amongst yourself. Your, your, your partners in crimes, they're going to turn on you, just so you know. You're all losing sleep. You are working with, the, with a king of swords in here. You two are having an affair. This man is married. This man is married. Either he's a king of swords or an emperor, but he's an emperor in the reverse. That's how I'm seeing it in my head, so that's how I'm going to say it. But you two are having an affair. The law is involved in this, which is part of the reason why the king of swords is out here. Law enforcement is involved. I bet you all didn't know it was going to turn out this way. You thought you were going to tell all these lies, create these smear campaigns, create, uh, commit all of these crimes, and then you were just going to sail on to karma waters and enjoy your life and live the luxurious lifestyles you've always dreamed of, even though you didn't work to earn it or nothing like that. Shocking, isn't it? It was all a dream. You used to read World Up magazine, Salt and Pepper have a deal in the limousine. It was never going to happen, honey. It was all a dream. Someone here is trying to run away. You can <laughs> Where are you going to run? Where are you going to run, my dear? Someone is losing sleep. Someone is having horrible anxiety. You, the queen of cups in the reverse, you're having anxiety. This is what you wanted for this divine feminine, to have anxiety, living in fear, confusion, 